Hi, welcome to our uh, Pharma Topics channel. Our topic of uh, discussion is corticosteroids, which are useful in asthma and COPD. Let us see how this works first. Uh, corticosteroids, uh, the glucocorticoids, bind to the steroid receptors in the cytoplasm. The complex, uh, the drug complex with the receptor moves into the nucleus from the cytoplasm. It binds to DNA. There, it induces synthesis of uh, more number of mRNAs, uh, which exhibits uh, uh, the anti-inflammatory activity through synthesis of several proteins which contribute to reduce the formation of cytokines, inhibit the prostaglandin synthesis, induce lipocartin, decrease the activity of leukotrienes and uh, platelet activating factor synthesis. It reduces eosinophil influx into the lungs and thus reduces the mediator inflammatory mediators release and it also decreases the important inflammatory mediator IL-3 in the respiratory tract. Let us see the anti-inflammatory activity in brief about the corticosteroids. It reduces the inflammation by decreasing the eosinophil number and increasing the apoptosis of eosinophils. It decreases the cytokine release from the T lymphocytes, decreases the activity of uh, mast cell numbers. Mast cell activity is uh, decreased and as well as mast cell numbers are also decreased. It decreases the cytokine release from the macrophages. It also decreases the dendritic cell numbers which are antigen presenting uh, cells. It has uh, in the structural cells of the respiratory tract, it decreases cytokine and other inflammatory mediators release from the epithelial cells. It uh, decreases the plasma leak from the endothelial cells. It decreases uh, the cytokine release and it increases the beta 2 receptors numbers. So bronchorelaxation occurs and it also decreases the mucus secretion from the mucus glands of the respiratory tract. Apart from this, uh, the systemic corticosteroids uh, have a lot of adverse effects. Therefore, they are reserved only for severe or refractory asthma or in case of uh, status asthmaticus. So the more preferable drugs are inhaled corticosteroids, which includes abiclomethasone, budisonide, momitasone, fluticasone, flunisolide, and triamcinolone. These drugs have very little oral absorption and this reduced systemic activity. Separately, a video is available for aerosol delivery of drugs in the Pharma Topics channel. Kindly go through it. The adverse effects of the inhaled corticosteroids are hoarseness of voice or the roughness of voice and oropharyngeal candidiasis. Candidiasis can be prevented by gargling after each dose and uh, topical nystatin. Systemic corticosteroids uh, should be avoided in pregnancy, but uh, inhalation corticosteroids are very safe. Cyclosonide is an inhaled corticosteroid which is metabolized by the enzymes in the lungs. Thus, it has uh, reduced the risk of toxicity from systemic absorption when it is given inhalationally. So, in, because of this, it is called uh, soft steroid. So, it's a very short nutshell information of the corticosteroids or the glucocorticoids which are useful in asthma and COPD. I hope it will be useful for you. Thank you for listening. Happy learning. Kindly share this to more of your friends. Kindly subscribe to our uh, Pharma Topics channel for further updates. Series of videos are uh, available in the Pharma Topics channel related to different organ systems uh, such as uh, GIT, chemotherapy, endocrinology, cardiovascular, renal, uh, blood and so on. GPAD preparation aspirants can also um, go through the channel uh, such that they can clear the GPAD exams. Thank you for listening.